Everyone, John Ponick with the Mojave Valley Daily News. I am joined by Captain Jeff Jackson from the Bullhead City Fire Department and the Mojave Valley Daily News General Manager Larry Kendrick. We're here to talk about the holiday, the Firefighters Toy Drive. Mm. Uh, they got a bunch of different things going on. We are proud that this is our 20th year. Yes. 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 38 years. Tw they're actually, you guys are actually the longest running sponsor that we've had for the program. You guys have been doing it longer than anybody else. And doing a very good good job at it too well we appreciate that it's obviously it's a great cause so you got a kind of some changes this year going on with the with the, the we do yeah we had a, a little bit of changes um we're actually changed the registration process so normally we'd ask you guys to go down to salvation army and red tree qualify for the program this year we're using the school district as our vetting process so your kids should be sent home some paperwork or form and then you fill that out give it back to us if there's a problem or a question we got select days that we're uh, we'll be at the river fund which is on hancock road there uh address is going to be 1343, 1343 hancock. hancock road uh jill rios who used to be with salvation army is actually volunteer time she's going to be there on well monday wednesday friday this week so on every friday she's there it's going to be one to five on wednesdays it's 90 mm -hmm. noon uh she'll be back again starting on uh this uh, November 29th and she'll be there also the first and then the third uh, at the South at the registration point River Fund so if you got any questions feel free to reach out to us call the fire department we have an 800 number they'll give you uh, they'll get you in the hands of the people you need to talk to in order to either donate or register or be part of the program okay so let's talk a little bit about um, how many different places you have that you're picking up from so I know that we're one of them but how many different locations do you have for picking up from what well, we've picked select uh, locations that are going to participate in the toy drop-off program mm -hmm. so we do about 22 different businesses inside the Bullhead City area but just a few that you can stop at you know obviously they can come here because you guys got a great program if you go ahead and you donate a toy here they get a month or yeah Four weeks, four weeks four of weeks a subscription or added on to your subscription if you already have one. So, yeah, yes. so even if you're a current member, come down, donate a toy, and then you can go ahead and add on to that. We also do any fire station. You, you can go to any fire station to donate. Mojave Electric, you can go and donate. Uh, most of the RV parks are also involved in that program of donating to us. Uh, if you live up in the Fox Creek area, you can go up to the Fox Creek area. They have a toy drop-off place. Um, uh, David Spack over at uh, Edward Jones is one. Ford Motor Company is another one that's a big drop off place for us. Uh, lots of locations. Look on the, go to our Facebook page, go to Firefighters Holiday Toy Drive, look at, look at the Facebook, and we'll have all the locations, and again, the registration process will be posted online. Just bring it here, just bring it here. We yeah, have just a whole come office there that we, we have plenty of room, bring it down. Yeah, uh, we're, we're typically around 600 to 700 uh, 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 toys that are donated every year through us so well i think every year it's like the challenge of how many offices can it fill mm -hmm. because we always displace john first we we push him out of his <laughs> office and we fill his office with toys and then, then we'll run over to bill yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so larry if you can tell right. us a little bit about why mm -hmm. the uh daily news has been involved in this for so long it's, these, it's yeah for these, right it's for yeah. these uh, it, beautiful yeah we do it strictly for these beautiful uh, uh uh ornaments that they give us no no it's just a big for us it's a big event it's a way of giving back to our community which is something that uh news west published mojave valley daily news is very much into is uh helping kids that uh that aren't as fortunate as others so for us it's uh it's just a win-win for us it's a win-win all the way around i mean you think about what when we start talking about what you guys are within the community we start talking about the fabric of the community and, and how it binds together and how everybody comes together in a time of need you guys exemplify it mm -hmm. because you guys have been doing it the longest and you guys always are there to give back to to make sure that the community knows up and down the river mm -hmm. that 100 percent mojave mm -hmm. daily news is behind us mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate that for mm -hmm. sure there is an event that you talked about Ford. Uh, Anderson Ford is going to have their bingo this Friday mm -hmm. at six o'clock. Six o'clock, we're mm -hmm. doing bingo. We've got some prizes that we're gonna give away for all the bingo nights. Ford mm -hmm. is also donating some mm -hmm. money for that. And then they're also doing the DJ event. Mm -hmm. So they're doing a DJ Loki. event with Loki. They're putting Loki on the roof. Mm -hmm. 
she's going to stay on the roof until we can get a thousand toys donated. So uh, we put her up there about 6 p.m. and she don't come off until we get a thousand toys. Okay. And there's a car show there. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So my my job that. here is a lot easier than that. So <laughs> I, we just give subscriptions out. I don't have to get up and dance and do uh, be a DJ up on a. You know a, that if somebody had to go on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna yeah. Be yeah. 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 Is that what it is? Yes. Yes. Well, you know, we, we, we dress you up warm. We'll give you a tent up there or something like that to keep yeah. you warm. So. I'm a Wisconsin boy. Yeah. Right. And, you know, a firefighter. Uh, uh, Wisconsin, so you're a Green Bay Packer fan? Uh -huh. Can't wait yeah. for losing here. Right, right. right. Got a Ram fan on one side of me and a Packer <laughs> fan on the other. Um, we have other events we got going on. So we have the Turkey Trot coming up. So Turkey Trot's Thanksgiving Day. It's uh, We can pre-register. If you don't go online, you go online at active.com. You can register through there. That guarantees you a t-shirt. Otherwise, show up the day of the event. is $25. Again, we got sponsors that pay for everything. So 100% of what you donate directly goes to Impact the Firefighters Holly Toy Drive. And that's a 5K? That's just that a 5K, is. yeah. Just a little fun run. That we, we do around Balboa Park. Three fun. miles. Yeah. Just a little fun run. Yeah. A little yeah. fun run, yeah. Nothing for a firefighter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Good point. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not doing it, so. <laughs> um, and then can you talk about the areas that these toys go to because we're not talking about just Bullhead City right you guys so cover a big area we initially should make that emphasis we our main concern is going to be to satisfy the needs of our community mm -hmm. we're fortunate enough that we live in a community that over donates mm -hmm. so because they do we don't want any kid to go without a Christmas so what we'll do is we reach out to other communities that may not have partnerships mm -hmm. like I have with you guys mm -hmm. and donating toys so we we reach out as far as searchlight all the way down to Parker Arizona mm -hmm. and we do everything in between so if you live in Fort Mojave we work in conjunction with Fort Mojave mm -hmm. if something happens and they don't meet the need we're going to supplement them Mojave Valley the same thing needles Desert Hills Lake Havasu City Parker Arizona searchlight Laughlin all these communities will mm -hmm. get supported from the firefighters all the joy drive although they're not directly part of the program we don't want to see a kid go without a Christmas so we'd rather give it away than pack it up so we're gonna make sure we can impact the very most kids we can during the holiday season well it's awesome and, and um, I don't know if we can still pull a video from last year but we videoed last year you guys loading up the toys here you had already made a couple of stops before you got mm -hmm. here and the, the truck was just oh, trucks mm -hmm. and trailers mm -hmm. were just overflowing with toys it really uh, especially that this time of the season it really um, it's inspirational. Exactly. It really is yeah. to see to see how well this community gives. Well, and we, we talked, like you said, it's just this community is so wonderful mm -hmm. as far as we walk in and we have partnerships with lots of different businesses, about 22 to 23 businesses that actually support the Firefighters mm -hmm. Toy Program, put on events or do something to get the toys into our hands. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we were able to fill two enclosed trailers, mm -hmm. two flatbed trailers <laughs> on top of another pickup truck mm -hmm. full toys, bikes, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. You should know that, so our program mm -hmm. gives back, we, we give about $100 worth of toys to every kid. Mm -hmm. So they get seven gifts mm -hmm. from the Firefighters Holly Toy Drive. And we do a thousand kids, do the math. That's mm -hmm. about $100,000 mm -hmm. that we raise in toys, cash, gifts, awesome. over a one Amazing. month period. Amazing. We yeah. do it in 30 days, so. Mm -hmm. But you know what, let's talk about you guys because mm -hmm. We really want to recognize what you guys do. We really want to recognize what you guys have given back to your community. So if you look on the wall, we have all these little wall hangers mm -hmm. over the years that they've been there. You can see they started in 2013. Mm -hmm. And since then, I mean, doing it longer than that, we started giving these out mm -hmm. in 2013. But this year, the one, this one here really touches me because this one really means a lot. The other years were, were important because they symbolize what the firefighters do. Mm -hmm. But this one symbolizes what you guys do. Mm -hmm. This is uh, their 2021 Firefighters Holiday Toy Drive mm -hmm. plaque. And again, it shows a kneeling firefighter in, in front of the Twin Towers. This is the 20th anniversary of the mm -hmm. Twin Towers. Mm -hmm. And because we show the symbolism behind these guys, what they sacrificed for their community, mm -hmm. what they did to help people, save people, or be there for people, you know, in all the anguish and stuff they went through, that's what you guys are to us. Mm -hmm. You guys are the sacrifice. You guys mm -hmm. give back to your community. And this symbolization of the firefighter with the Twin Towers is exactly what you mm -hmm. guys symbolize mm -hmm. to the firefighters and the holiday toy drive so mm -hmm. we want to make sure we give this to you this year and mm -hmm. recognize for all that you do for your community and mm -hmm. i i mean we could spend hours up here talking about everything you guys put together but for mm -hmm. this one event mm -hmm. you guys are the largest contributor you give more to us than anybody else we dedicate a flatbed trailer just for you guys mm -hmm. every year and uh we want to just say thank you for everything you guys mm -hmm. do Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful. Huh? Yeah, I like it. I love it. So it'll look great in my house. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
You know what? You just heard it. We have a whole flatbed coming here, so you guys are going to have to really step up. We really need your help to, to fill up our uh, at least one of our offices, maybe two of our offices with toys. Um, we don't want to let the firefighters down. They, they take care of us every year, and they take care of all these kids every year. So um, that's beautiful. I appreciate it. No, thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Jeff. We appreciate everything yeah. you guys do. And no, it's, it's something that we... Uh, Facebook, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's something we really enjoy doing. Uh, my uh, entire staff here gets behind this. Uh, they not only pick, take the donations as they come in, but they're donated as well. So a large, large contingent of my... Uh, my staff does donate to this out of their own pocket as well. So you know, it's very unique with our community is the fact that uh, so we've been doing it for so long. You guys as well, tw mm -hmm. twenty years, us thirty eight years, mm -hmm. that we're starting to see the uh, the transition of the kids who were in the program twenty years mm -hmm. ago are now working for mm -hmm. the businesses and stuff sure. that we do, and they're all they're in they're so excited about it. they're like oh my gosh you I would have had a Christmas if it wasn't for you guys mm -hmm. so they do whatever they can mm -hmm. to support and help yes. us out and I know you guys see that with your employees yeah. as well as we see it throughout the community so. yes no. that's awesome all right all right you heard it. Uh, the challenge has been thrown down. Uh, come bring your toys down here to the Daily News for a $10 toy, new unwrapped toy. Mm -hmm. We will extend your subscription for four weeks or we'll give you a brand new subscription for four weeks for free. Uh, we want to load up that trailer. We got offices here we want to get uh, filled up. There's an event Friday at Anderson Ford. Go over there, donate to them. Uh, if you bring a, a new unwrapped toy over there, you get 10 raffle tickets, mm -hmm. and they got a pile of prizes. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a bunch of ladies. There's going to be a bunch of firefighters there. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying. That doesn't hurt either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a great event, and, there, and there's a pile of things that you can win there. And then you have the other uh, the truck coming. Trot. Yep, coming Thanksgiving up morning. Thanksgiving. Hey, get out and just, you know, a little exercise, a little walk before huh. you enjoy all the festivities of Thanksgiving. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really easy. You stuff the turkey, you put it in the oven, you go to the turkey spot, <laughs> then you come back and it's ready. Mm -hmm. Okay? There Especially as slow as I run. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. You get plenty of time. No man left behind. We'll, we'll right. be there for you. <laughs> all right, well, uh, all right. bring the EMTs. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, for, for watching. And please get out and donate. It's a fantastic cause, and we're really uh, proud to be part of it every year. Uh, so. Anything final, Larry? No, I think you guys summed it up well. All Sorry. right. Thank you guys. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you. Mm -hmm.